Hi, my name is Miranda Stanglin and I'm a mathematician. And this is how to use a distance formula for geometry. When we think about geometry, usually we're using um, triangles and shapes to figure out the sides of different sorts of shapes. This example that I have here is a triangle. And when we use the distance formula, it can be derived from the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a, squared, where a and b are both the sides of a triangle. So it would be this side and this side and c squared is gonna be the hypotenuse of the triangle. When I wanna find the distance, I basically figure out which one am I solving for. In my problem here, I'm solving for the hypotenuse, which is going to be c. So to derive my distance formula, what I wanna do is isolate c. So to undo a squared, um, a squared sign, I basically take the square root up. So I take the square root of both sides of the Pythagorean theorem, and it becomes the square root of a squared plus b squared is equal to c. So this becomes my uh, distance formula that I'm going to be using. So now I want to solve for um, this hypotenuse side, which is represented as c, and here in the problem, it's represented with an x. So I use this formula, the square root of a squared, which is going to be 3 squared plus b squared. And I set it equal to my hypotenuse, which is going to be my x. So I simplify this out. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16 it's equal to x. 9 plus 16 is 25, so the square root of 25 is equal to x. And when I take the square root of 25, it's the number 5. So I know that x is equal to 5. So this has been how to use the distance formula for solving geometry problems.